I, I, listen. How can we give so little to someone who's given so much? Look at the, at the end of verse 17 here. It says, And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten Son. God asked his only Son, Jesus Christ, God the Son, to come to this earth to live and to die. He gave his life for you and I. And the sad thing is, you and I can't sacrifice more than an hour or two of our week for him. He sacrificed his life. Can't sacrifice 30 minutes in a day to spend some time reading his word. Can't sacrifice more than about 30 seconds before our meals to pray and talk to him. Can't sacrifice two to three minutes to stop and invite somebody to church during our day because we're too busy or too uncomfortable. And sometimes we're going to get into the unknown, to the uncomfortable. Sometimes we're going to have to sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice to be in complete faithfulness to Him? Let me ask you this question and I'll be done. What is God asking you this morning to sacrifice through faith in order to be used by God? Abraham is used greatly by God. And we talk about a lot of these men and a lot of these women in the Bible who are used by God. And every one of them had to sacrifice through their faith in order to be first used by God. Abram had to get up and leave the only place he had ever known, and go out into the wilderness. He had to trust that God was going to give him an heir when he had no heir. He had to take his one and only son up a mountain, prepared and ready to kill him, just in order to follow God. I tell you, God ain't going to ask you to do something as crazy as that, but he's asking for obedience and faithfulness in him. And the sad thing is today, most Christians can barely give him an hour of their time on Sunday morning. And during the week, he's an afterthought, if he is a thought at all. 